Hey, what's up? This is Ryan from Flying Saucers, Caffeine and Art in Santa Monica. And I am here today to demonstrate how to make the ideal brevet latte. So to make the perfect brevet latte, we're going to need 16 ounces of cold half and half. Now this is a lot like a cafe latte, but the half and half is vital to a brevet. It's a really nice, thick, uh, very sweet tasting cafe latte. So it's vital that the milk be ice cold right out of the fridge. If it's warm at all, if it's room temperature, it's not gonna foam correctly. Now to make perfect foam, it's really temperature sensitive. It's not unlike baking. So we're gonna use a culinary temperature gauge and we're gonna aim right in the center of the red zone at 160 degrees. If we're gonna air on warmer or cooler, we're gonna go a little cooler. You do not wanna burn half and half or it will not taste right. So pop that in there and we're gonna walk over to our steam wand, the espresso machine. Now, the, the trick to making really good foam is you don't want to bury the steam wand all the way in the bottom, and you don't want to have it risen above the top of the surface or it's going to splatter everywhere and just make it really sudsy. So, let's turn on the steam. And we're really doing it by sound more than by sight. You can hear a real subtle hissing, but not splattering. And you can also see that is turning the, uh, the milk kind of like a whirlpool. And it's not producing big bubbles, but it is raising the volume level. So we're approaching 160. We're gonna cut it a little early from the heat source because it's gonna continue cooking itself. There it goes. We're at 155, just about to 160. Perfect, it's gonna be nice foam. So we're gonna set this aside and let it cool a little bit, and it's also going to tighten up the foam. We're going to remove our portafilter from the espresso machine, clean it off, and we're going to pull a double side of espresso. Pulling a double side of espresso, first step is we're going to pull the espresso grinds, ground just before making this, so it's really as fresh tasting as possible, into a nice little pile. Then, the espresso tamper, we're gonna to use to just smash this down 30 pounds of pressure. You can test it on a scale if you wanna test exactly what 30 pounds of fresh pressure tastes like. Okay, clean it off. Now the second tamp, 15 pounds of pressure. Clean it off. You really need to get all the grinds off the top so it has a really nice seal. And that's a nice little puck of espresso ready to grind. Pop it in. Nice and tight. Two demitasses under. This is going to be a double. And we're starting extracting. Now the time it takes to extract is exactly 18 to 22 seconds. And it's going to come out in two little streams resembling mouse tails. Not too fat and not dripping. And the reason why they're so light brown, that's pure crema, which is a, a real oily substance that floats like foam on the top of a, a really well-pulled espresso. If your espresso comes out looking like black coffee, then you need to dump it out and readjust the, uh, the grind of the espresso or maybe tamp it down a little harder. There we go. Now we're going to take our favorite mug over here to our nice steamed half and half with a uh, kitchen ladle. We have this nice beautiful foam here, see? We're gonna hold back the foam. We're gonna pour in all the nice hot steamed milk and then pull in the foam, not scoop, pull. Then we're gonna grab our double espresso. Now the real trick to having this look beautiful is you're gonna pour in the espresso really, really slowly not unlike those mouse tails we just saw. And the reason we do this is because the steamed half and half is so thick with air that it's gonna hold it buoyant on the surface. And you're gonna get this great looking fade from espresso to milk. There we go. Set it aside. And now with our last little bits of nice foam, 
we're gonna lay it on top. And there is a cafe quality brevet latte. Thanks for watching. To learn how to make more great coffee drinks, click on these videos.